This is Samsung's entry level a series mid-range of the Galaxy A15 but wait is the 5G model there are two Galaxy A15 models and this is the one with 5G support but besides the connectivity what's the difference I'm Ali for 5M tech and let's find out in our Galaxy A15 5 reading. The entry level Galaxy phones are usually launched in both a 4G and a 5G version and the latest Galaxy A15 is no different on paper the only real difference between the two versions is the chipset one of the biggest upgrades for this year's A15 is the switch from an LCD screen to AMOLEDs. The phone's design is pretty typical for Samsung the back is made of plastic and has a matte finish instead of the shiny surface the 4G model frame is also plastic with the matte finish and it curves out around the power and volume keys. The design would have been even better with at least some basic ingress protection. Though like I mentioned the A15 has an AMOLED display it's a 6.5 inch panel with a 1080p resolution and a 90hz refresh rate. The AMOLED tech provides better contrast than an LCD so we are glad to see Samsung make the change. This display is solid but pretty basic without bells and whistles like HDR video support you do get the 90hz refresh rate though which smooths out movements like swiping. But the refresh rate won't dial down automatically when idling to save energy as far as brightness goes the A15 5G isn't. The brightest around but is still decent we measured a maximum of around 360 nits with a manual brightness slider and this can boost to nearly 800 nits when in auto mode if needed. You won't get stereo speakers on the A15 just a single bottom firing one it has very good loudness. The audio quality is average at best the focus is on the highs with passable vocals and no bass. You can wake up and unlock the phone with a fingerprint reader built into the power button on the side it's fast and reliable. The A15 5G comes with 128 or 256 gigs of storage and that is expandable through micro SD. The interface of the phone is Samsung's latest One UI 6.0 on top of Android 14 you get pretty much all of the features here except for an always on display DeX and the studio video editor and for software support you get the promise of 3 major Android updates and 4 years of security patches. Now we get to the chipset. On the 5G model of the A15 you get a MediaTek Dimensity 6100 plus that's opposed to the MediaTek Helio G99 inside of the 4G version of the phone despite the name in the chipset is actually the same thing the only difference being the 5G modem the processor the GPU and the storage options are all the same both the A15 5G and the A15 4G have mediocre performance scores that are in line with other phones. Battery life won't leave you disappointed with its 5000 mAh battery. The A15 5G scored an excellent active use score of 14 hours and 31 minutes in our tests. It's still not quite as high as the 4G model though which ATS they call time test the phone supports 25 watt wired charging with a proper adapter which isn't included as EA fluid in the box. The EA15 was able to charge from 0 to 51% in 30 minutes a full charge took 83 minutes. Onto the cameras just like on the 4G model you get a 50 megapixel main cam a 5 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro camera during the day the main camera saves good photos which come out in 12.5 megapixels due to pixel binning. There's no noise and the dynamic range is wide the colors are pleasant and mostly accurate there is enough detail too however the photos are a bit over sharpened and sometimes this is masked with some sort of artificial smoothening. At night the main camera produces poor photos by default they're low in detail and have a lot of smeared noise the dynamic range is narrow too if you turn on the dedicated night mode though the results are much improved. So there you have it the Galaxy A15 5G for an entry level phone. It has plenty to offer including great battery life and this year's new AMOLED display it's a decent choice if you need 5G connectivity at a low price 
However, the 4G model did feel faster and more responsive. And it's also cheaper, so if you don't need 5G, better go for the AF15 4G instead. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know what you think and I'll see you on the next one.